Hello, it's Lisa. Remember the day I shared painting palettes with you and I was going to put them down at an antique booth to build my walls? Well, I'm here today. I promised you I would show you my little antique booth, Namaste Today Vintage. And so I'm going to take you on a little tour. And if you hear the music, it's because my booth is right beneath a speaker. So I can't really help that. <laughs> This is a working day, the shop is open, there are customers strolling through, which is wonderful. But I did want to share to you what I built, what I've got in it, and just keep you up to date on what's happening in my life. So, let's get started and take a look. All right, so this is it. Here is one of the outside walls that um, my husband created and I painted. I have been ready for uh, Valentine's Day and thus the hearts and from here uh, Valentine's Day has passed so I am going to be transforming this display of Valentine's pink to St. Patrick's shamrock green and um, I have a shabby chic booth because this is what I love over here, I've created a bit of a Paris feel. Um, this, as many other things here, are uh, items that Lillian had in her room, and when she moved to LA, she could not take all of her furniture, so we decided to bring it down here. She could sell it and um, do something else that she needs out there with um, the money from here. And then also I have put my essential oils here. This has been really convenient for my students just to be able to come down and um, get what they need. So I have the oils, I have brochures that are from our acacia. These are empty bottles, the cobalt blue bottles and then the, the spray bottles to mist. And then I have the um, jars there. Remember, the dark color is, is uh, just to protect the oils. And um, we've got some skincare oils, some candles for relaxation. Relax. And I have my relaxation. Um, I, know, I never really told you about this, but I have recorded a relaxation CD. Um, it's about 30 minutes of me talking and just leading through a guided meditate not a guided meditation, a guided relaxation. So that's here too. And um, these are just some of the items that I've got. These, most of them are from my own house. They're just things that I don't use anymore. Um, and there's no reason to have things sitting around in boxes. And so I've brought them down here and I, you know how I love the essential oils and I've just mixed some things um, like the sea salts I have available. And I always put a sweet little word there. What's this one? Strength. Sophia is on loan to me from a friend of my daughter's, who's my friend too, Claire. She doesn't use Sophia anymore. And so I asked if I could borrow her Little did I know that she would end up in my booth and I'm always changing her clothes just like she was a big doll. And this is, this is really when I started the booth what I really foresaw the booth would be. To restore, to repurpose, reuse, and then reimagine things. And so that's what I've tried to do. Take old things and repurpose them into something new or just give them some sort of recreation for new life. I love old hats. This one I've attached to some netting. It could really be, it could really be used for a wedding veil. I just love it. In fact, the veil has some left over from the um, from our own wedding, from just the decorating of the church. This is Colette. Yes, I gave her her name. This is one of those things that I've repurposed. This is an old candlestick and a, just a foam wig head. But if you'll look really closely, the she is 
uh, been recreated, Colette, with a publication from a 1905 French uh, design magazine, which I came upon. I just love it. I love the way she turned out. I love cottage prints, but it just got to be too much, you know? Just one or two is great, and then you go more than that, and it just gets a little overwhelming. So, I just thought I'd take them down here, and maybe somebody else might love them in their home. So this is my little booth. I'm going to get busy on it. I've sold some items, which, yay! But now it's time to do a little work and a little updating. So I'll get back with you in a minute. So this is the way I just bring things down here. I put them in bins and baskets and load them up and I'm about to unload these things and I'll show you my progress at the end. Okay, so as always, always, always happens, it's time for the store to close and I feel like I've barely gotten started. But I did want to show you what I have done. I've changed um, Valentine's to the beginning of St. Patrick's Day. So just a few little things. Lily, remember this? This is St. Bridget's Cross. These are actually from Ireland. A friend of mine um, brought them over for me to put in my little shop here. And um, I'll have to tell you about St. Bridget's Cross um, another time. <laughs> Just a few Irish touches. I love the shamrocks. I am a pearl kind of girl. This is Cross Haven where my Irish friend lives. Look at the Celtic Cross. Oh, there's a glare. You see the Celtic Cross? Beautiful, beautiful country. I'm happy with how it turned out. I'll put some more touches up. Maybe a few shamrocks other than just the little hanky. It's a little Irish doll actually from Ireland as well. Really about all I changed. But I find that I simply run out of time. I could stay down here all day. But alas. There are classes to teach and grandchildren to watch. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm going home now. It's time for Kendall to come over. We got to get to have a sleepover tonight with my baby girl. So it is time to shut this down. And that is about really the only changes that I've made. So. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I am so happy to show you my little booth. So even here in the antique store, we cannot close without just a moment to say namaste. I hope you have a great day.